Morning, Bill. Morning. You should say good morning, right? We're going to find something today, right? Well, we're pretty excited on this area. The closer we get to the Stone Road, the more exciting it's going to get. As a new morning dawns on Oak Island for brothers Rick and Marty Lagina and their team, the quest for answers to a 229-year-old treasure mystery continues in one of the most intriguing and inhospitable locations on these 140 acres, the triangle-shaped swamp. Gary, you're up. All right, mate, I'm ready to get stuck in. Hopefully, it's not literally. <laughs> this looks old. That does, yeah. Yeah. One week ago, while excavating the potentially 500-year-old Stone Road, or Ship's Wharf, that was first uncovered in the southeast corner of the Brackish Bog back in 2020, the team found a large hand-wrought chain and hook, which, according to blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg, was not only used to lift heavy cargo, but may also date back to the 16th century. I'll start down there at the bottom and work my way back. Okay. Now the team is digging further into the southern shore that borders the swamp in the hopes of uncovering more of the stone road and also clues that could prove whether or not the swamp was artificially created in order to hide something of great value on Oak Island. Is that a stick there, mate? In the side of the hole? Yeah. There, yeah, there. Sax cut. Oh, yeah. That's worth bagging. OK, I'll put it in the bag. OK. Well, this is almost peaty, though. Yeah, here. yeah, it goes. It's a little bit of peat, and then it goes to a mud. And it's the only layer in here that's kind of like that. What it tells me is we need to know what's under this dirt. Right. Should have Dr. Spooner come down. Yeah. I'll send him a text. Yep. Yeah. The axe cut wood is interesting because it represents older type of wood construct. And this material is coming up in the peat. It's quite layered there. There's sand, peat, sand, peat. I would say that it's not natural. So what is going on here? Hey, Billy. Hi. We don't know what to make of the possible connection between here and the stone road. What do you make of peat? Grease and That's kind of brown odd. sand. Yeah, the peat shouldn't be over the sand. If this beach is moving landward with time, then the sand should be over the peat. But I mean, this is, to me, really important because it tells us this feature extended out this way. So why doesn't that feature, the way it exists there in front of our eyes, why doesn't that extend here? I think it's beach. They pulled the boat up on the beach, but you can't just have a big 26-foot boat sitting on a beach. You're trying to unload it. Mm. They needed a platform to haul it on. So I think they placed peaks over the sand, and that's what it looks like to me. Could Dr. Spooner be correct that the swamp and surrounding area was artificially manipulated in order to construct the stone road for the purpose of moving something of great value from a ship onto Oak Island. I think you need to go three, oh. four feet. Oh, cool. So I think we should get back at yeah. it, right? Yeah, OK, good. Yeah, I, I think so. Thank you. I think that's the end of the road right there, because there's stacked rocks, right? That's what I would say. Oh, I see that, Rick. Oh, oh what's that? It's dragging. Oh! oh. Got a nice whoa, whoa. piece of pottery. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Hopefully, it's got some decoration, mate. If there's going to be anywhere, it'll be on that base. Here's another one. Oh, that's a big chunk of pottery, isn't it? Mm hmm. Some kind of bowl or dish. There's so much of it. There might be more. We should hand dig this now. Talk about finding something in situ, as the archaeologists say. Gorgeous. Do you see any marks on any pieces? Not yet. Nope. Ooh, look at that. What you got? A handle. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Someone would have had money. Tell you, mate, wherever there's muck, there's money. This is great. 
But they, the archaeologists can put that together and clean it up. Maybe there's a maker's mark. Yeah. There's pottery there, Gary. Oh, yeah. No mistake in that. What is it, Rick? The thin stuff, I think. Yeah, it's the thin stuff, and this looks like it's a plate. That's a plate rim by the look of it. There's got to be some maker's marks on some of this stuff. Good eye, mate. Check this out. Oh, it's coming up. Look at that. That's a beautiful piece of pottery. That could be old. Yeah, this could be old, mate. That is really, really fancy. That's pretty, Look, yeah. Almost like a leaf design on it. I haven't seen that before, so that makes it interesting. There you go. Another one. Excellent. Oh, one more. Oh, man, that's sweet, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, glazed on one side. Ooh, it's got to be. This is lovely, mate. Good eye. That's some sweet pottery. And I believe that this pottery is older than that dish or a bowl that we found. Yep, I would agree. I think the pottery's getting older the deeper we're going. Yep. We found a number of different types of pottery. One or two vessels where they could possibly be reconstructed. And it was quite localized. Nice finds, Rick.